Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. This is the eighth video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the type tool. So let's select that. When you select the type tool, you will be given two options. The first one is the simple type tool and the second one is the type in vertical. So let's start with the simple type tool. So let's select it and tap anywhere on your artboard. And here it is. So as you can see, when you uh, place the text in your artboard, the properties panel automatically opens uh, from your panel section. And here are some very interesting options. So from here, you can change the uh, width of your text, height of your text, uh, the angle, the uh, font. You can change any of these fonts. Also, there are some categories. Uh, the fonts are arranged in these categories and you can select as per your taste and requirement. So let's change it to something understandable. Um, okay, uh, this is a textile. This is the uh, horizontal and vertical. Um, Scaling. The next thing is the size of your text. The other option is the line spacing and it is not applicable in simple one line text. It is applicable in paragraph scenario. So I will discuss this in a bit. The next option is the space between these characters okay if you want all of your text to be capital you, you can tap on this and if you uh, disable it or uncheck it you will be back to your normal text that you have typed so I like uh, to have my text all capital and if you want the first letter larger than the rest of your text you can do that you can underline your text and you can also put a line across your text so the next option is the text container you can switch between the simple one line text and the paragraph text so if you press the paragraph text this line text is now converted to the paragraph so you can add more lines to it so for example like that and if you see like the spacing is not very much interesting so you can you can change the line spacing the option that I am using right now. Okay, now you can change the format of your paragraph, uh, tapping on these options, whatever you like. It all depends on your taste. You can change the fill and stroke color. You can change the opacity. And you can also change the stroke settings if you have added one. So, the next option is the type in vertical so let's select that tap on your artboard again and here is the text in vertical sequence so it's very cool to add text in vertical wherever you like and depending on your project type 
So again, the settings that we have discussed are also available for type in vertical tool and you can change them as per your need. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.